getting access to the Form 4, first thing we noticed right off the bat was how much faster the machine was. Uh, amazingly faster. It was one of those things where I walked in, hit a print, and I walked out the door to get something, came back in, and my jaw hit the floor. Watching that arm fly back and forth, I had one person walk in and tell me that looked dangerous. So, um, <laughs> Mart Honschke, who you saw from already up on the slides, uh, added a prototyping lead at Microsoft. Added prototyping for us is all about getting from what's in your head to a part as quickly as possible. My role is overseeing all the additive prototyping for all of the hardware divisions at Microsoft, so that includes Surface, HoloLens, and Xbox. So at Microsoft, our department's called the Advanced Prototyping Center, and it's a model shop that's kind of unique. Most model shops are either an engineering model shop or industrial design focus. We focus on both. We have a wide range of technologies for industrial design and engineering, and some of those technologies, while they're really great in certain areas, they fall off in material properties. One of the things we found with the form technology is material range was amazing, especially in the Form 3s, but being a laser technology, it tended to be a little bit on the slower side. So uh, getting access to the Form 4, first thing we noticed right off the bat was how much faster the machine was, uh, amazingly faster. Uh, it was one of those things where I walked in, hit a print, had to wait for the first few layers, and it kind of seemed like we had a similar experience to the Form 3, and I walked out the door to get something, came back in, and my jaw hit the floor. Watching that arm fly back and forth, I had one person walk in and tell me that looked dangerous. So, <laughs> um, so along with that, uh, as we started seeing parts come off, we noticed that the surfacing was a step above, seen a, a noticeable difference in the surface, especially when we got the clear a couple weeks later, and uh, the the layer lines were pretty much negligible at that point. So form really hits that sweet spot for our engineers where we need uh, materials that can be high performance to deliver uh, high strength and durable parts. But now with its speed and with the surfacing and the ease of use, we'll definitely see some more use on the industrial design side, I believe. That's amazing. Great to hear.